All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CatCast episode number 799. I'm your host, GPD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who hopefully is having a nice summer. Well, that. It's a summer. What? Uh, this is, this is the, the podcasters for Kamala Zoom, right? Because that's what I, that's the link I clicked. <laughs> is that a thing? You haven't seen all the Zooms for... No. Oh, they had one. It was like 400,000 white guys. That was like the whole shtick. Oh, is that what uh, white guys for? We're yeah. not, we shouldn't be talking about this. So people are just canceling their subscriptions right now. Oh, whatever. They could eat me. It was a joke. You guys call each other up a, to wear the was... pink shirts today or what? Uh, yes, we did. You didn't get the memo? I didn't, obviously. Clearly. Right. Wait I a minute. I sent it in the, in the group Slack chat. <laughs> I'm not in that. I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, first of all, we just learned something shocking right before we started recording the that show. That's true. Shipwreck just revealed, I don't know how long this has been going on for, forever maybe, that he is listening to music in his headphones while he's doing the show. Yeah, yeah, it's happened, I don't know. How long has that been going on for? What are we on, episode 799? <laughs> yes, well, you weren't there for all of them. No, so uh, it's got to be at least the last 300 episodes or so. That's crazy. I've never heard of anyone doing a show and listening to music while they're doing it separate from the other, from, whether it's separate from the, I mean, I understand if it's something playing in the background and everybody's listening to it, but even still, mm -hmm. that would be annoying. But just one person listening to what, like, what are you listening to? What are you listening to right uh, now? Right now, uh, it sounds like it's playing some, uh, Bowling for Soup? Yep, Bowling for Soup. Is, is playing why? The, why? The is the show is it, too is boring? Is it the theme from Phineas and Ferb? Is, is, is that not the theme from Phineas and Ferb. Is the show too boring if you don't have music playing? It's just like Now you can't. we know why I, I'm the one that yawns and he isn't. That's correct. That's correct. No. Uh, I feel like yawn decayed. Like, I, I like background music, like, constantly. Like, what? I walk into my house and <laughs> I immediately, like, either put on a like put on a record or like shout out to to Alexa to to play something. Okay, that's my my uh, daughter is like that. She can't do anything without music. I mean, and I like that too. I don't like to have like a quiet house when I'm home mm -hmm. alone or something. But like when when you have a meeting at work, you're listening to music. I guess that makes even more that makes more sense. I guess because you have to. Get I mean, it. not so much at my at at my current job because I like. It you just know what you're doing. Work as well. Um, my last job, yeah, current, yeah, I would always have music going in the in my headphones and everything. I don't if know. I'm concentrating on doing anything, like I generally have music going. See, I love the silence when I'm in the only one in the house. It's literally the, my favorite thing. What about if you have a phone call with somebody, like a friend? Are you listening to music? Does that happen? Do people don't call <laughs> speak with to friends? people anymore? What are, you, what are you, a psychopath? Right. I'm going to call my friend on the telephone. One of my friends called me the other day, and he's notorious like for getting like way drunk and calling people at three in the morning and waking them up, and then like, you can't get off the phone with him. But this was at like eight o'clock at night, and it was an hour. I think he was pretty drunk. I don't know what he was on, but it was an hour phone call. And I had to explain like why Elon is an asshole and things like that to, a, to, to somebody who's, I don't know, not sober, 100% sober. It was a good time. Anyway, so well, how's your summer going, Wamba? What are you doing? I, I don't do anything. It's, you know, I have to go to work right. every day. Any trips planned? I don't know. No, we may go away in like October. That's probably it for me. And uh, yeah, I mean, Elliot's gone all summer because he has his travel camp. And uh, Sabrina is working at camp. So she's gone all day. She's gone from like eight in the morning to 4.30 in the right. afternoon. Right. Oh my God. You're getting in so many wanks during the day. So this it's is, just me in the house. Undiscovered country. Uh, mm hmm So it's just me all day alone in the house working. So that's basically it. You know, working. my wife is working. Oof. That's it. That's that's that, that wouldn't even take up a whole day. What do you think I am? Some sort of powerhouse <laughs> where it's like, oh yeah, yeah, and I'm drinking all well, eight hours a day. I well, mean, no, no I'm, obviously, I'm not. You know, I'm thinking like two to three. 
Or one to three. One to three is what I'm thinking. Three hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> three hours a day. <laughs> I'm just saying when the house is normally full of activity and the stars and planets align and the house is now quiet for a long period of time, certain work has to be done. That's all I'm saying. I mean, not really. Okay. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, I'm like, okay. no, that's not, that's not what's happening. Oh. It's just, it's just, uh, is it the Ozempic? It, <laughs> I don't take Ozempic. I know. I know. I just forgot. Um, the one you take. <laughs> no, no dick that card. Is that the one you take? <laughs> mm-hmm. But, uh, uh, what about no, you, Shan? What are you I'm up sorry, to? I'm sorry, I'm boring. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you want from me? I'm going to Orange Theory a couple of days a week. And, That's good. Uh, that we like yeah. to hear. Ship's oh. drinking beer and listening to music. How's it going over there? It's it's going it's going well. <laughs> I uh I recently got all of my music into Discogs, so it's cataloged. I, I, cat, it's cataloged now, so that I, it's a big a big summer achievement there. What can we, you do we, with that once it's cataloged? I cannot buy the same records. That's the point. Okay. Again, yeah. It's not like you push a button and then you're listening to that song. Or you, you can, can actually. It and like link links it to, to like your uh. Well, it links to my Apple Music. I think it links to whatever you've specified as your music service. And so, if it can find it, then you can just play it directly from from Discogs or whatever. But it's mainly so that like, I pick up an album and go, "Hmm, I like this album." And go like, oh, I already have two copies of this at home. Why do you have two? Are you beat juggling that. over there? Uh, yes. No. <laughs> because I didn't, realize, I didn't have them all in there to begin with. So then I bought two copies or I don't know. I have an old copy and then they remastered it and put it out on oh, 180 not grand too, vinyl. They're not exactly and, the same. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They're not, some of them there are exactly the same. But yeah. I, I have a lot of copies of Abbey Road by the Beatles because every time I see one, I'm going like, oh, Abbey Road by the Beatles. I'll pick this up. Great album. Yeah, great album. Um, no, we... we you have the version up. that came with the t-shirt? Because I have that one. I have the one that came with the t-shirt. <laughs> I do not have... I bought the... Ver- the say, I have the same version, but it did not come with the t-shirt. Oh, yeah. I always came yeah. with the t-shirt. It was a medium, though, so my daughter got the t-shirt. Got it. Uh yeah, we, we hung out at the cabin all last week. So, nice. yep. Did some, uh, some pontoon boat piloting, some fishing. Okay. Do you have your you own pontoon been, you boat been, or do you have to I do not out? have my own pontoon boat. I rent one of those. Okay. That's fine. I, yeah. Yeah. I don't have enough, like. The deflation on those is horrible. Yeah. Like, I'm really not looking for, like. There's work involved. It's, yeah. You got to keep the upkeep. Like, yeah. You got to store it somewhere. You got to have a trailer to get it to the water. I mean, like, you, and, you know, you never know when like something crazy like a septic tank truck will break down in your driveway and you oh, wouldn't yeah, even have happened. room to keep the, the boat there. That happened. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got. So I, are you guys on sep- septic? I am. I am. Um, I am not. Okay. All right. So I like I'm not here at at my primary residence here. Yeah. But at, at Earth One shipwreck. Yeah. <laughs> But so, like, I don't know anything about septic systems, right? Like, it's just like our fast. aerator, we, we could tell our aerator broken down just because it wasn't running, right? And I don't so even know what that is. That, like, it's, what's, it's what stirs the shit so that it doesn't, like, get all kinds of bacteria and stuff in it. Gross. So, uh, go on. So, ours, ours is broken down, which with the amount of times we like use it, it's not that big of a, of a deal, right? When you say but, big like, of a deal, you mean big of a smell? There's not really, there's like caps on the stuff and everything. Okay. So it's not really a big smell until they open it up and then it's a little bit of a smell. Did you, is that how you know it was broken? Cause there was a smell? No, it's just, we could tell it wasn't running anymore. Okay. Right. Like you could just, it, you weren't hearing it. So they like pulled it out and like, it, it basically looks like a, a long, like kind of like drill, right? Just picture a this duty big drill. Long drill, a duty drill. Mm. Exactly. And they, they pulled it out and it was all locked up and it had like all kinds of like baby wipes and oh, all this you stuff. Can't do that. Like, I didn't do that. It was the previous, previous oh owners that did that. So it had all this stuff that was just like wrapped around the axle basically that had caused this thing to like seize up. Um, so they get, they get all that out. So, so that's fine. Okay. They set it off to the side and they're like, Oh, let's now let's pop the, the top on the, uh, uh, on the canister here like on your duty ca- your duty holder 
right yeah. right and so they pop that and went oh this is pretty full yeah we should we should uh get to we should take your duty to with pump us this out. i'm leave. like yeah you're here for a reason please pump this out yeah so, well your family seems to really love corn mm. <laughs> we have to do that every about two and a half three years okay so it, it had been around that time for for uh at least since we had bought the cabin right so I don't know when it had been emptied last. So they, they go to like get all the hosing equipment out and they're like, Oh, we'll quote you on a new aerator. And everyone. I'm like, yeah, what, whatever. Like just, right. just take my just shit take and get out of here. Yeah, just take, take care. <laughs> and then their truck wouldn't start. And so they couldn't pump anything. Okay. And they, they stood out there like for like five or six hours, awesome. just trying to like work on this truck and get it going. Their duty and truck. Then, their truck full of shit. Right. Just like sitting out in front mm. in the driveway. Delicious. Yeah. And so then they're like, at the end of the day, it's like nine o'clock at night at this point. Mm. And they're like, can we just leave this here and come back? And I'm like, well, yeah, you don't really, I don't really have no a choice. lot of options. Here. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Start <Right>. pushing. <laughs> so th- they finally came back like, I don't know, like three o'clock the next day, like just like radio silence. And they come back and they brought like all, like a whole bunch of like different starters because they weren't sure what it needed. Right. And so clearly they were, they, they weren't full-time mechanics, but they were like, they're wanting to fix it. Right. So it took them another like six hours to get this thing fixed. Oh my God. Uh, they got it pumped. All, all was well, but yeah, I don't Did know. Did you charge like, them a parking fee? I <laughs> get a discount I don't, on Did that you give them the bill? Yeah, they should, yeah. you know. Yeah, we, but <clears throat> it's quite the experience an hour to have, for parking. Like, yeah, to, to pop the top on that thing and look down and then like, he's like. Oh, you looked in? Like, yeah, I looked oh. in because he's like, he's like sticking like a big no, stick down in there. Let's go inside and he's like, when they do that. Well, he was like oh, anxious to show me. I was yeah. being a nice no. Like, person. No, 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 no. Because no. it's like watching your he wife was really give birth. to like. He really like felt like he w- didn't want to rip me off, right? Like he's like, oh, let's I've... really like stick this stick down in there and see just what you got. Like, and so that's it's why like... we pay you the money, sir. You see what we got. <laughs> I'll be watching the basketball game inside. So he keeps dipping it in, right? Just dipping it in and go like, yeah, I can, I can really feel like solid here do you want to like feel yeah like, i can really no, <laughs> want to feel oh. <laughs> yeah he's digging there around there are many I... over the counter probiotics that can help <laughs> you with this situation sir he's feeling around in there he goes i can feel all my bad life decisions that i made in here while i'm doing this oh that's so good yeah yeah when they do when they take my shit i you know i just tell them to come back and ring the doorbell if they need anything I just have a pipe that goes to this. Yeah, sewer. I want that, but I don't have that option. I want everybody wants the sewer. Across the street, they have the sewer. I'm just out of luck mm-hmm. by not that long, not that far. Sewer, I barely know her. Oh, that was so gross. So, <laughs> ship, you should use. Did they tell you to use um, Scott toilet paper? That's what they uh, told me when they last cleaned my stuff, my pipes out. Oh, but it's it's the best for septic. I talked to a septic tank, my shit guy. Uh-huh. My shit guy says only use the Scott paper towel. Us uh, toilet paper. The one ply. Yeah, the, the bare bones. The, the one that just the says one Scott. ply sandpaper for your ass, Scott paper. Well, Which I brought that up to my family and they were like, Yeah, that's okay. But no. <laughs> right. Wait, why are you bringing your family toilet paper? Oh, your family in your house. They pass My on family your also paper. uses toilet paper. Oh, I see. So there that's not see. your toilet paper? Don't know when daddy has to take a shit, he'll use the No, I just, oh. we just I just don't, you know. It's in I the bag. Just buy them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's what we use. But we have the ass washing toilet. So you really the toilet paper is just to dry off, really. For show. <laughs> well, to dry off. And for Ty, who doesn't have an ass wash in his bathroom. Because mm. you don't want to spoil the kid. Yeah, I don't, he didn't give me any tips on toilet paper. Oh, okay. That's because they want to come back. And... I'm fine with them coming back. I, I oh, have he no has problems. to come back to suck like, out your shit every Please, years. come back and get this. I don't want this. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm always glad when they take my shit away. I'm so glad when I know, it feels leaves. good, right? Like, you're right. like, I accomplished something today. I paid someone. 
to they, come they took take our my shit away. away. We have so much right. less shit on our property right now. But Correct. when the truck breaks down in your driveway, that's the like you know one of the worst possible scenarios in that situation because now there's more. They've there's more shit. They've literally you've just brought shit to you. Doubled your shit. <laughs> right. That's right. My, my kids were climbing all over the truck. It was it was right. like playground equipment. So right. It was it was a good time. Licking the nozzle, the, the hose. Yeah, and stuff yeah, and just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's all vomit. Yeah, what's um, new with you, Mister GP? Oh, I, I don't even. I don't even want to tell the story because it's too depressing. I don't want now. you to tell no. the story. I know people are going to be like, "Oh, it's like, after don't ship me. shipper." I'm all grossed out from shipwreck shit story. Um, are you so watching just, the Olympics? Yes, I watch. I actually, dude, they fucking got me to sign up for Peacock. Yep, they did. It's it. good though. For the Olympics, it's good. Yeah, it's actually not good. It's Why? the bare bones like service o- offering. Are you I, not watching the uh, the Gold Zone? I'm not watching the Gold Zone. I'm watching. <laughs> you know what I'm watching? What do you think I'm fucking watching? I'm watching the table tennis. So oh, when you, you, you're not watching women's rugby because I watch that. No, I watch the the little girls. As you said, I have that time in my house by myself. <laughs> That's how you get off watching women beat each other. <laughs> women's rugby. <laughs> really broad yes. shouldered women. Um, hey, I don't, I don't make fun of what you like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't jack off to ping pong. I can I, say that. Um, uh, I don't know about the other sports because I've only watched the ping pong, but are they showing like when there's multiple games going on in that sport, are they doing it in like a Zoom call format where there's like side by side? There's occasionally, not, there's occasionally like different events that I've seen in that way, but not like. Okay. If there's two table tennis matches going on at the same time, or four, they just put them in a box. So I've seen up to four at the same time with like the audio of one, and it's not an ideal way to watch. You can't just like select one of the four. No, that's why it sucks. That's why it's still a lot better than than it used to be. And the production is also shitty. Like they didn't mic the tables. They just the the Annette, the play by play guy's volume was at a ten, it's and the almost game almost like the table <laughs> tennis isn't the premier sport of the Olympics. It's almost like it's an the fact that they're showing it at all is kind of crazy. I'm just saying that the previous Olympics production was much better. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm you, but, you did say you were watching some of the three on three men's basketball. I did watch the end of Poland versus USA. And I was very confused about why that was a thing. Three on three basketball. Because there needs to be another form of basketball that the USA is in a lock to win to make. Oh, okay. Olympics. Now is if we just had our best guys playing the three on three on three, could we win that too? Because yes. I noticed. Yes. 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 Okay. Most because definitely. Yes. I, I would think because I noticed that the guys that we had on team USA playing three on three they look like me, and I don't just mean like my skin color. So, I mean like they look old. They are. Yes, they are old. So I do not understand the criteria for how we selected that team. I know you had to accrue points over playing in different three-on-three tournaments throughout the year. I think to get to qualify. But yeah, like one of the players, you're not going to know who this is, but it's Jimmer Fredette. Wombat might know who that is. I Just, do. Yeah, he got he hurt. Put, I he, saw him. He got hurt in the in the game, oh, and they that, lost. And they that's lost the problem. Yeah. So Jimmer Fredette was. Uh, he played for BYU back. Yeah. Uh, he was the college basketball white guy. Yes, <laughs> he had a whole song. Teach me how oh. to Jimmer. Oh, I was, it was I a know. whole song about him. him. Um, and he like, yeah, he had he had a jumper. He shot deep shots. He was like, uh, kind of like like the white curry of that time yeah period. i'm pretty sure he pulled his groin with like a minute left in the game he's 35 oh, years he was old watching women's rugby <laughs> right he's 35 years old and he he played a little bit of the nba he had a little bit of nba career but like i don't know like it's it's odd and then like the women's i watched a little bit of the women's and like some of them are still in college like playing in this right and so i I do not understand. Yes. Well, we're out. So, well, mm. next time we won't be. Now that we know this is a thing. Oh, we didn't know it was a thing. These guys I don't think we, we just knew pulled it was these a guys thing. in after we got there. We called yeah. them up like, <laughs> "Hey, what are you doing, Jimmer? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're Pretty recording much. another rap? Well, how <laughs> well, about you come record it? Somebody else. Oh, okay, somebody okay. else made a song. Let me. Oh, I'm gonna cool. listen to 
the, the Jimmer song. Yeah, yeah, you should play that in the background. Please, That's, please yeah. don't. Um, yeah, I've I've been the like feel watching, good I music did, coalition was who made it. I did watch the pommel horse guy though. That was pretty impressive. Did it you was. see that guy? It was, it was, it was fun. That was cool. I enjoyed that. Right. Well, you when know, is diving. When do they do diving? Is that happened? Did I that's, miss that? That's happening. The synchronized diving has been happening. That I knew. Yeah, we won. Didn't we win gold for that? Uh, we won a we won a medal. Don't, okay. Don't right. go too far with this. Right. I'm sorry. I the, just know that we won a medal for women synchronized right. diving. The, I'm pretty sure the Chinese win all of the synchronized diving medals. Yeah. Diving is cool. Gold medals. Because I mean. you know, you never know when someone's gonna pull out a triple lindy. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I, cool. I know that. Another triple reference. Lindy. You know, there's yeah. a weed strain called Triple Lindy, like award winning out of California. That wouldn't surprise me. It's a fun term and a, and fun. a cute reference. Mm -hmm. um, the men's USA table tennis player actually got farther. He got to the round of 16. This, he just he lost today. Conic job. Okay. But he got, the, that's the farthest any men's player has ever gotten in the Olympic table tennis. Uh, in, uh, US individuals. Man. US, yeah. So that was. <laughs> That was a I'm big sure there's a man that'll win. Yes, and so. he'll be Chinese. Probably mostly. Actually, maybe not, because the best Chinese player got knocked out. And they oh, had to change, they did have to change the rules though to make sure that the Chinese players don't win all the medals in table they play tennis. They're offhand. No, they, they just the way they set up the events that you can they could only win two gold medals, basically. I don't know. They've done that in a lot of events now to where they you can only have two competitors in it, so you don't get one, two, three. Right. Right. Yeah. I think they, and it's probably because of China also, because <laughs> they keep winning. It's well, probably... it's the same thing with like women's gymnastics, right? Like the US, like the, the, the third person will have like the third highest score out of anybody. And they're like, well, I guess I don't get to compete. Right. Because there's only two of us. I'm like the third best in the world at this. Yep. But, but we don't want don't one country to win all the medals. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, USA is out of table tennis. We lost everything. Mm, you can cancel that Peacock subscription. <laughs> no, no, there's still going to be some good table tennis. Just, no, and okay. some movies to watch. Maybe I not. I, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but I'm sure there's <laughs> Let me know. Movies. Let me know. Yeah. Should we remind everybody about Long Island Retro? Because we're going to yes, be doing should. our That's... 800th episode there. Very exciting. On Sunday the what? What is that? Like the 11th or something? It's not this Sunday. It's the Sunday it's after It's the 11th. That. It's the 11th. There you go. So go to liretro.com. Yeah, buy a ticket today so you can don't have to wait online. You can just walk right in and sit down. We got you prizes to give away. Look There's at all these fabulous prizes I'm holding up the list. You can't I'm going to be it. dressed in cosplay. Yes. Mm hmm. Is this a shirt that says cosplay on it? It's a shirt. That, no, I have, a, I have to get my. Just talking about it right before the show that we got to order all our stuff from Amazon. So yep. it's here in time. He's doing Metal Gear Solid cosplay. Remember when uh, Palmer Lucky wore the, what was that, that Hush? What was the woman's name? I forgot. In the I have stocking, no the idea. Stockings. Quiet? Quiet something. You know, I think the, her name was Quiet. Some Wasn't ridiculous it? outfit. Yeah, something like that. You should cosplay as Palmer Lucky cosplaying as Quiet. I already have a costume in mind. It's not it's as good as that, though. I know, but I promised my daughter we'd wear our costumes together. Not going to win. I, win what? I don't know. It's valuable prizes. Yeah, I don't think that's how this Palmer Lucky's not, admiration. We aged out of the child's cosplay competition. <laughs> oh, so now you're just going to team up in the adults category? I think we're just teaming up because we think it'll be fun. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. I'm not going to mm -hmm. be wearing Maybe someone costumes. will want to take pictures with us because of our costumes. Mm. Mm. Or maybe just because you're you. That's true, too. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So maybe we'll see you guys in August. Mm-hmm. Uh, should we do watch this jerks? There's a lot of shit on this fucking list. I know there was part of me that's like, should I save some of this for the, for the bit, for the big show? No, you'll watch other stuff between there and now. <laughs> I, I hope so. Well, the last time <laughs> I had like, you. wait, let's talk yeah. about the big news first from mm -hmm. the nerds. Okay, so Robert Downey we... Jr. as Dr. Doom. Yes. Robert Downey Jr. as Dr. Doom. He needed more. He needed like so many more houses. Did you hear how much money they're, they're giving him? Like everything. Like a hundred million. It's got more. 
It, it's not even that. It's like some of the demands. Like he gets a, he gets his own airplane. And he gets to keep he it gets, after. He gets a like a trailer compound on set. Not just a trailer, but like a whole set of trailers for him and like his family. Team. Yeah. So it's crazy. Good for him, but it seems yeah. pretty lazy. But maybe they're gonna make it. The Russo brothers, the directors of the last two Avengers movies. The people, do you, do you really think like that's what put asses in seats? Robert Downey Jr. Like, I what? think the. Maybe? I, I don't think it hurts. It doesn't not put asses in seats. Exactly, it doesn't not put asses in seats. He, as yes, I know he's making all the money in the world, but. For all intents and purposes, he seems to have always enjoyed being in those movies. And I think his positivity and the involvement has always added to the experience in a way. Like, you know, he always enjoyed being Iron Man. He's probably not going to do something that sucks is what you're saying, probably. I I don't think he wants to do something that sucks. As much as he's doing this for the money, I still don't think he wants it to be bad. Does that does that make I think that makes sense somewhere. Remember when Howard also, Stern like did a prank and like tried to pretend that he was going to be Doctor Doom? He like had like funny. a fake leak. <clears throat> Excuse yeah. me. I don't. I, I just what I'm curious to see is is it going to you know is how they pull pull it off? Is it going to be Robert Downey Jr. like in prosthetics the whole time and the mask? Like you know, be he's done well, that before. People want to. He's see done that. that. He's done movies in prosthetics. I don't think you before. pay. I don't think you pay him this money and then That's keep what him I'm saying. the mask the entire time. Or is it that it's like, is it going to be a Tony Stark yes, Doctor Doom, which has been a thing is. before? Yeah. Is it's, it just a variant that, of Tony right? Stark that's also Doctor Doom? Does that mean that there's another Doctor Doom that's the real Doctor Doom? Like, is this sure. just a smoke Howard screen? Stern? Oh, it could be Howard Stern. Could be Howard Stern. I'm saying, I'm not saying, is Robert Downey Jr. going to be Dr. Doom? Yes. But John Krasinski was also Mr. Fantastic. I think he's going to be Dr. Doom. He's going to be the person who wipes out all the Kangs because he's Tony Smark or Tony Stark. (laughs) Tony Smark. Tony Smark. That's who he is in the variant form. Tony Smark in the alternate universe has figured out the Kang whole plot and the way to defeat them because he's Tony Smark. And he's super smart. Is it water? Is the answer water? The answer is water. Yeah, Yeah, the the weakness is water. Okay. And then he's also the solution to the general public having no idea who Kang is, but knowing cursory who Doctor Doom is. Sure. And that he's cool. Right. Right. Like that's that's what this is solving as well. Is the general public does not know who Kang is, as well as the whole like problems with the actor. But Doctor Doom it, hasn't been very active either in the last. Uh, no, but I think people know who Doctor. They know who he is, is, but they don't know right. much about him. Probably correct. You don't have and to know much don't about need him. To. You just know you like he's cool looking. He's got Boba Fett effect. A hundred is what Doctor Doom has. Right. Like I think I think Boba Fett has Doctor Doom effect. Doctor <laughs> Doom came first. Sure, but it's the same type of thing. Like you don't have got to it. know a bunch of. Like his name cool is Doctor Doom. Goes a really long way. Right. His name is Doctor Doom. He's got the Cobra Commander, uh, this like outfit on. <laughs> like, right. It's yep. It's he, fine. He's like he's Iron Man. He's basically Iron Man and Doctor Strange combined into one character as a bad guy. That's what Doctor Doom is. In, in, in you know, in in a sentence. Yeah. Right. So, so I mean, there's a lot to... of meat there. So make this interesting though, they, they do have to like, I don't know, like make it so it's not Mysterio again, right? Like the, like, Oh, is he a good guy, bad guy type? No, they're not going to do that. It's going to be, he's a bad guy. He's going to do, I think, I mean, I think they're going to do full secret wars and he's going to collapse the multiverse into one verse. Yeah. I think that's what he's going to do too. That's that's the end game. That's this. the interesting thing. But then, yeah. if everybody knows that this is the path that's going on, they better make they better make it good. I hate multiverses, so I'm excited for it to be gone. Is that what the story behind Secret Wars was? They were ending the multiverse. The original uh, Secret the, Wars. The Secret. There's more than one Secret Wars. Oh, the one okay. from the '80s is a different thing yeah, altogether. Right. right. That's You're the thinking of the one, one from the yeah. That's the Beyonder brought superheroes together to fight each other that so they can good. sell toys. They should do yeah. that. I like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like when they fight and mm-hmm. there's a lot of them. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Although the the most powerful character in that was Molecule Man, and the most powerful character in Secret Wars was also Molecule Man. Secretly, I, Molecule Man. He's the he's the key to all of it. That would be that's though I always felt was the more interesting character, and I'm very interested to see who they get to play Molecule Man. All right, but that's me. That's me being a nerd. Well, they're out of actors, so you got to start. I mean, it could be me, them, right? I it would do be. it. Mm. You all right? Mm-hmm. All right. What movies are we watching? Uh, who's going first? Me. Might as well. I saw I saw the Deadpool Wolverine movie in the theaters. It's got Wolverine and Deadpool in it. I want to see this. It's very good. I very it good. In, it's very good. Okay. Yeah, it's an enjoyable romp through space and time. Dick jokes and fart jokes. Dick jokes, fart jokes, uh, graphic violence, uh, f bombs. It's not R. All is the it? cameos, lots. It says yes. It is an it R rated movie. Oh, definitely R. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, we uh, we, we enjoyed it. We went as a, a father and children outing. Uh, my wife had no interest in seeing this movie. Oh. <laughs> but it was still a She's good time. She got the popcorn good... though. Well, you guys but I did. We went, when we got there, I did ask because it, I was requesting. Yeah, like you gotta at least ask. I'm like, fine. Do you have the popcorn bucket? And they were like, sorry, it's sold out. Oh, I'm like, all bucket. right, shucks. Yeah. Was it Wolverine? I mean, um, Deadpool's butt or something? No, it's Wolverine's mouth open like this. Well, that's weird. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be. Never mind. Um, but I took the kids. We had a good time. They loved it. They loved every second okay. of that movie. Yeah. My son thinks it's the best movie that's ever been made. Nice. And uh, yeah. And they were like, oh my God, the whole time my daughter was like, like jumping in her seat with like every moment of like, wow, fun for yeah, the guys all, and, and the gals. The, yeah. And it was, I mean, it was really good to see it. And it's a, it's worth seeing in a theater because, you know, there's, you know, lots of gaspy moments, especially if nothing has been spoiled for you, which I think might be too late at this point, but I, I don't, don't know. know anything. I don't know anything. I, Nothing, nothing's been spoiled for me, so keep it that way. Yes. Uh, I like to best, watch these in the, the, in the cheap part, theater. <laughs> the best part of the movie. Stop it. Uh-huh. Was when the Enterprise, uh-huh. it, you know, Captain Kirk and the Enterprise. Yeah, and he said, it? everyone and, remember where we park. Yeah. <laughs> and there's whales. Right. Uh-huh. And then he uh, gave the Vulcan death grip to the guy on the bus because he wouldn't shut the radio off. It, it, so, so you have seen it. <laughs> All right, what else are we watching here? I, I saw the other Ryan Reynolds movie, the uh, If Imaginary. I thought Friends. about watching that. How is it? Um, it's it's something like it really tries to like one up Disney in that it's got the whole like parent dies of cancer thing. I hate it. Um, to to start off the meeting, but what if? the other parent like maybe like five years later or so also in the hospital with nice. the terminal perfect potentially terminal illness right um so you could be sad twice correct and that's it needs more jokes like the whole thing is just like mm. heartwarming the entire time okay um and the i don't i don't know the the girl's name, the actress, but she does a really good job. Like in it, Ryan Reynolds is good in it. Um, it's just, it's very much like Foster's home for imaginary friends without the jokes. Right. So sad, a lot of sad, not all sad, but just like trying to like say like, Hey, this is really important. Like it's trying to like play on your feelings like the whole time. Like, sure. Do you want to like a real like coming of age story type of thing? And like both my kids liked it well enough, but they right. only remember the jokes for the most part. Right. Right. Like, so it didn't really register. Not, not entirely. And there weren't enough jokes. So it's probably like, like kind of a bummer then. Oh. Yeah. Like the, it needed more jokes, it needed more jokes. I saw but, a movie that's sort of similar in, in that it was bittersweet and sad, but had a lot, but had a lot of jokes, and it was really funny. And that's Thelma, which is about a. Do you know about this movie? That's the June Squibb uh, movie. Richard yeah. Roundtree's last movie, who was Shaft. Um, the the plot is that this 
June Squibb's character is a, uh, like a 93 year old grandmother and she gets taken in on a phone scan scam and loses a lot of money. And she's on like a mission to get her money back, you know, by herself basically as an old woman. And it's very like, it's very sweet and very funny. Oh, it, dog's coming through. Oh, what the hell? Dog. I don't know. It's very loud in my house tonight. I'm trying to figure that out too, but I think the dogs just the dogs are going oh, outside. Is the dog making a duty. Anyway, the movie's really good. I'd recommend Thelma. I even spent ten dollars to rent it, but it was worth cool. it. Cool. And it was Shaft's last movie. I think that's on one of the streaming services. I forget which you gotta, one. Oh, really? Because I paid for it. No. <laughs> I didn't. I, 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 I didn't really look. I just saw. Oh shit. Mm. Anyway, it was good. It was worth it. I was happy to give the guy ten dollars. Like I I'm pretty sure much was laughing or crying it. during every part of the movie. I heard it was very good. It was yeah. good, and it's only like an hour and forty minutes. Even better. Perfect. So yeah, I highly recommend Thelma. What else are we watching? I watched Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire. That is the most oh. recent Ghostbusters movie. Mm -hmm. And here's my thoughts. I I liked it. Which is I, which I was Good. surprised by. I was expecting to not like it. You watched the first one that they did. Yes, I watched Ghostbusters like that Afterlife. One? I did not like that. Okay, one. but it's the same got people, right? So same cast, same same. I need everything. to watch that one to watch this one. No. Okay. You can no, catch up on you the just, Ghostbusters. You'll you'll spots. pick up on you'll pick up on like oh oh they, they seem very familiar with that person. He must have been in the last movie. Right. That's basically all you would need to like. Like, oh, okay, this person, they don't seem to know very well. He wasn't in the last movie. Got it. That that would be the only reason okay. to watch the last movie. Um, and then I guess you need to know that Winston is a is very wealthy and funds everything. Just like in the video game. I think he was the same thing. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. So you already knew that. Um, this is what I will say about this movie that I think is very interesting. It's not great, but I did enjoy it. Shocking. But I also think that it's a product of the time in that if this movie exactly as is with a couple of tweaks came out, if that, if this was like ghostbusters three instead of ghostbusters six, okay. It would have been huge. Is there is like, this six? Yeah. Six, six, Were there two, two with the women. Oh no, that's all right. That's right. Ghost five ghostbusters five. Okay. You're right. right. Yeah. So if this was Ghostbusters, oh, the air purifier went on, just went on. I'm like, what is that noise now? Um, if uh, it's set to auto, if the uh, yeah, if this movie had come out sooner, like this style of movie, this sort of Ghostbusters movie, I don't want to like give too much away, but again, it takes place in New York. It's got a very centralized plot. It makes sense. It utilizes the old characters in a good way. It utilizes new characters in a good way. Does Bill like Murray try in it? Huh? Does Bill Murray try? I mean, he tries as much as Bill Murray can, but again, if this was a Bill Murray <laughs> that, if this was three Ghostbusters ago, okay. then maybe his attitude would have been different. You know what I mean? Like, well, it's, it's this is the right Ghostbusters movie, but it's three movies too late. Right. And I think that that kind of hurts the movie a little bit. All right, mm -hmm. I'll check it. Check it out. I don't know. I think it's worth your time. I, it'll be well. I feel like we haven't watched in this household the the first Ghostbusters yet. Oh. Okay, too intense. You need, that. You need no, to see not the too first tense. Ghostbusters. Blow job scene. Like that's the what blow job scene? No, the ghost. The ghost blow job. Oh, scene. it's not even. It's have you looked at that? There's no blowjob, really. I've looked at it. You just I mean, see him unbuckle the pants. There's no blowjob. It just unbuckles the pants, and then... His eyes like, roll back in his head, and yeah. But, um, but the, you don't see the head go down to the groin, really, do you? No, because it's a ghost. You, but you Stupid just see the pants open. open, that's all. I know. You think that's yeah. too much, the pants opening? I don't know. That's It'll be un, like it's uncomfortable. Well, the life is uncomfortable. What sure. about just during that scene, you like say, oh, I'm going to go get some water. Right. And then you like, trip, that's the thing. Of, and like, then you like trip and everybody looks and it's over like that. And they right. won't even Or know. I just like go in and edit the that out. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty short scene and it's pretty much telegraphed because it's like so separated from the rest of the movie. You can like Correct. hide it. You can Correct. hide it. I know, yeah, I know. I know. Like, hey, kids, look over there. 
Mm-hmm. But well, then again, I also, you know, I saw that movie in the theaters. <laughs> and I don't think I knew what was going right. on. Right. And you don't even think about I it, right? It. Yeah. You didn't and think I was, about it. Let's see. How old was I? That movie came out in, what, 84? I was seven. And he's still sexually repressed to this day because of that, actually. Mm-hmm. Right. That's why he's not jacking off when everybody's out. Um, I think that, that's that scene not a big is deal. literally the only reason, like, we haven't, like, I think you can get away with like, it. Cause, All I, I know, I, I, I can, but. It's also probably less. It's it's less pronounced than you than you probably Definitely. remember. That's the only thing I remember. It's, that's the it's, old, that's <laughs> the whole plot of Ghostbusters. It's because it is very implied. It is they don't really totally sh- totally. It's very implied. You just see the ghost. You see Ray pants in bed. Pants unbuckle. Ray pants unbuckle. The, 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 that's the, it. The belt gets unbuckled. The belt, yeah. The belt, and then and then his and then, eyes go crossed. And right. His eyes go crossed. Right. And he like sits up or whatever. Tell the kids the ghosts want to check out his underwear or something. And it's and right. It's they like, gave him a wedgie. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wedgie. That's a, that's they, what I call it too. Totally. They would totally get you know get away. Right. Right. I think it's worth watching. That movie's so good though. Yeah. Yeah. No. We we just watched uh, Ocean's Eleven for the first time. Right, there's no so, blowjobs in that. There's not, not any. <laughs> any no ghost or living blowjobs. Not not a one. But that movie could have used the ghost though. <laughs> and a blowjob. Eh, more ghosts. Ty and I watched Idiocracy. Ah, uh, did he like it? He did like it. That movie had um, a lot of blow, not blowjobs, but. I didn't remember like what Starbucks. It's like a hand Star- job. Yeah, that's Starbucks. Starbucks. That's what Starbucks in is hand, in the future. Yeah. <laughs> where you get hand jobs. Mm-hmm. And so, so same with H and R Block. Actually, is where you get hand jobs. But anyway, the movie is very funny, and Ty liked it, and uh, it's uh, a biting commentary on our current state of affairs. Yeah, because that movie becomes truer and truer every day. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. I know, it makes a lot of sense. It's making a lot of sense. <sighs> what else? Uh, I watched Godzilla X Kong, or I think it's just because it's supposed to be called Godzilla Kong, the new one. That can't be as good as Godzilla minus one. No, it is not as good as Godzilla minus. No, I I did. I didn't say it was. I'm just saying (laughs) I could. I I don't. Anyway, what's it like them fighting each other, or they team up? Uh, No, this is this is a team up movie. Well, who are they teaming up against? They're teaming up against the evil King Kong. No, really? Yeah. There's an evil King Kong? Yeah. And there's a good King Kong. What's his name? What's his name? name? You know, it's funny. I'm sure they give him a name, and I could not tell you what it is. But he's like like an orangutan gong. See, I would think that they would team up against... They would team up against men who are, like, polluting the environment or something. No, 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 no. No. See, Godzilla... Hmm. Is very territorial mm-hmm. in his territory. They explain this in the movie of prior course. to this one. Yeah. Godzilla's territory is the planet Earth. Right. Right. You got this, right? It's his You're planet. following along. It's his planet. It's his planet. You just live here. Exactly. His name is Scar King. Scar King. There you go. So Godzilla, scar. whenever there's does he have another. A scar? Wait, does he have a scar? Yes, he has a scar on his face. Mm. So whenever there's another Titan. Maybe in not his, his birth his... name then. In his like domain, he has to fight that titan. That's like Godzilla's thing. That's when Godzilla comes out. Like, oh, there's another monster in my in my house. I have to kill that monster because he's the king of the monsters. Because he's the king of the exactly. So then he, you know, he has to fight monsters that way. But if they're if all the monsters are like separated from Godzilla, then there's going to be no fighting. And that's kind of what the humans do is that they kind of just make sure all the monsters are separated. Because the earth is hollow and underneath the earth is another earth, like a gobstopper. Mm-hmm. Okay. So in the other earth is where they try to keep most of these monsters. That's where Kong lives. Kong lives under the earth now. Okay. Is it nice in there or like it's just yeah, hot? It's, it's it's like nice. It's like a, it's like jungly and it's like Star Trek Two: Wrath of Khan when they build the Genesis project inside the planet. Kind of, but there's like lots of man eating giant beasties there. Okay. Well, it's, you know, good and bad. Yeah. Is that where Godzuki is at? Is he still? Did you see Godzuki uh, at there's all? There's no Godzuki. There's baby Kong instead. But it's not Kong's kid. It's like, actually, I think it's supposed to be Scar King's kid who becomes Kong's like adopted son. Complex. I know. There's this a lot like going Hamlet. on in this movie. Complex. Oh, and yeah. Kongplex. 
I mean, are the fight scenes fun enough? I guess. I mean, every time my kids would walk out of their rooms while I was watching this movie, they would go, this just looks like a video game cutscene. And I'd be like, yeah, it's it just is. one video <laughs> game cutscene. I'm like, yeah, that's basically what this is. Do they t- do you like tag team moves where like maybe like King Kong will throw Godzilla to attack they, Scar King? They, they actually do triple team moves because um, Mothra shows up at the end too. No. Oh. So you got Kong, Mothra, and Godzilla fighting Scar King and the Ice Titan. It's like a whole thing. I'm out. Yeah. And All then right. Godzilla falls asleep. There's so many more and things on this Godzilla. list. Godzilla falls asleep. Godzilla falls asleep. Is he, is he listening not, to music? And by the way, if you think I'm making that up, oh. you would be wrong. Does it, is that like when he walks <laughs> back down into the water and then... Instead of walking back down into the water, he literally just is like, okay, nap time. He's narcoleptic, (laughs) maybe. He's like, I fought enough. Now we go to sleep. Are we going to do these TV shows? There's so many. I watched the first one because you recommended it, Wombat. Did you like it? Yes, that's Mastermind, which I think is on Hulu. Uh, HBO Max. HBO Max, right. Um, Mm -hmm. And that's about this lady. What's her name? I forget her name as well, which makes us both bad people. She was but, like the uh, founder of um, criminal profiling, profiling for the FBI. Yeah, it was pretty. If interesting. you watched Mind Hunters on Netflix, yeah, the character on that was about essentially about the the female her. character on the yeah. team. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's really cool, and the, the woman. Oh is still yeah, it alive. is on Hulu, by the way. I'm a terrible person. It is what? It is on Hulu, by the way. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought it was on Max. The woman who it's based on is that is still alive, and you know she's an older woman, an old lady now, but she's still like active and teaching. And she's yeah, pretty, Dr. Like, Ann Burgess is her uh, name. Yeah, she's she like is, a super genius. Yeah, she's a super genius. She's a um, she worked for the FBI. She basically helped create their profiling division. She got very little credit for it at the time because misogyny. Right, it was a lot, um, yeah, long time ago. Yes. What I found most interesting on it was the Menendez trial stuff. Yep. Yeah. That that was actually kind of interesting and a little sad. Because what, she was ahead of her time. Like, juries today, you know, would have uh, acquitted them, right? Don't you think? I probably. I think a jury today definitely would have. And what the judge did in the retrial would have been found to be. I mean, that was very Fucked weird. Up. So for those who don't know. She well, don't, was ruin the one it. Who, don't, don't ruin it for people. Let's, okay, let people watch it. it. And there's so many watch. more fucking things we got to talk about. Yeah, but it did. It made me look at them in a different way. Because Yes, you know, same, yeah. same, 100%. Yeah, so it was very interesting. Um, I started, We started watching Sunny, which is on Apple TV, which, with um, Rashida Jones, you know? Okay. And it's, know who she is, yeah. it's really interesting. It's, it's pretty cool. Like, it's, um, it takes place in Japan, and she's got um, her husband is like missing or dead. You don't know. And all she has is like this robot that he left her and he worked in robotics, as you, you'll find out. And it's like a thriller. It's like a comedy thriller. And it's another I think it's like another one of these Apple TV shows that looks like it cost a billion dollars and nobody's watching, you know, but it's really good. And, and it's good. And it's good, which is like a lot of these Apple TV shows. Uh, that's Sunny, and I, we uh, we recommend that. We've, we're totally caught up on that. And uh, and this other show that we just started watching on Netflix called Tokyo Swindlers, which is about, it's a drama about land swindlers, like people who who sell land. Swindle they, land? They, they basically sell land that they don't own and defraud people out of their money. And this is a drama about, like, the Ocean's Eleven version of that, if you can imagine, right? Like Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty entertaining and it's cool to see like Tokyo. I don't know. It's got some freaky. Tokyo is cool to see. There. It is. Yeah. So if you're into that shit, Tokyo Swindlers, the name is not that great, but, um, yeah, that's what I got. We could skip my last show. It's not that exciting. All right. Anything in these new releases? No. Yes. No. Yes. Earth, Hello. Earth Defense or six. <laughs> I what love you, Earth Defense Force. What are you playing that on? Uh, I, I haven't. I'm not playing oh, it yet because oh. I really? love Earth Defense Force, but it looks like this one is sixty or ninety dollars, depending on what version you get. That's crazy, and it's and it's listed as PlayStation Four. I think it, I think it's out for PlayStation Five and PC Doesn't, as well. 
doesn't i mean i'm sure you could play it on your playstation 5 i'm definitely gonna get it at some point we're still working like the those games are so long though they're like 100 levels each so we still have plenty of the old levels still that um my son and i are playing through but those are fun games it's still i i looked looked up still as janky as usual right that's what makes it fun yeah the bigness of the enemies yeah, the, the bugs the are fun. Uh, those games are fun. Nice. Um, There's 147 levels in Earth that, Defense Force 6. They do not short you on levels <laughs> or bugs to shoot. It takes jankiness. approximately 48 hours to complete. I mean, that's that seems pretty good. Good value. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, I don't know about... Yeah. <laughs> We'll it's, it's an okay value yet to be per, determined per level it's a great value <laughs> <laughs> all right is that it for new releases i mean I while that's so. fortnightly news i think we're moving on is this, where we, about video the, games is this where we make fun of the cyber truck this is where we can make fun of the cyber truck it is now in Fortnite. yay it was free i got it today okay what did you have to do jump up jump up and down a hundred times and it was jump up and down a hundred times it was like nine challenges do you have to say over, I love over, Elon? Over nine and, days. Oh, it was a whole thing. Yeah, it was nine challenges over nine days. Okay. What was today's they challenge? They didn't take long to do. They each take like 20 minutes at most. Do you but, have to uh, post on X about loving no, Trump? None of that. Okay. Just, uh, yeah. But yes, I got my truck today and it looks, first of all, I, I had to use it in the racing mode. I sent you the picture because it looks ridiculous because it's so out of place size wise and it, looks just like real life the, so they yeah, nailed it say, that's, that's, they nailed it yeah it looks better in the in the regular you know battle royale mode it does look better in, in that i heard but it's it, bad so, because of the wind too much windshield just like in real life I, yeah i mean no one jumped on it and tried to break it open but as soon as i like hopped in and turned in you know your truck turns into it it's like a whole thing in the game oh, as really? soon as i hopped out of it to yeah, get yeah. i know what you mean when, yeah yeah, Once I yeah. hopped out of it to go loot, someone immediately stole my truck, which I thought was really funny because, you know, it was someone's like, ooh, a cyber truck. Right. And let me just, drive. Let me see how shitty it is. Let me see how shitty this thing is. So, I've seen so many in real life, by the way. A disturbing. Amount. I saw one today, too. It's very weird. I mean, Long it's not Island weird. It's so many they always look dirty. They, like, they just cannot look clean at right. all. I still can't believe that's a real thing. Like, it just seems like a joke that went too far. And yes. I guess that's what it is. It that's is. what it that's is, exactly right? It's a it joke is. that went too far, right? It's it's such a joke that, like, they're just falling apart. It's, they're not even good. And that Mm-mm. people spent a lot of money on them. I, I did see, I don't know if it was real or if it was a uh, AI generator or, or what, but there was one that uh, had been painted and had a turret on the back, like a warthog in, in Halo. Oh, a turret? Yeah. Oh. And that that looked like that was the first time it was like, oh, that looks at least bearable. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> but I still wouldn't want one. Still really yeah. dumb. But mm-hmm. um yeah, so I have not unlocked that yet. I haven't played in a little bit. That's I got okay. to level one hundred. The pirate stuff is fun. Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. Mm-hmm. But I have not gotten very far in that. But. There's uh, the last, I think the last set of quests for that is Friday. Once I do those, then I'm done until next season. For me, I've finished out the battle pass. I got my cyber truck. I just need the last, the, the free glider from pirates and I'm done until, uh, the, for the, you know, my usual, like a week and a half, two week break of Fortnite, which is, you know, try to do at the end of each season. Get her done. And then, uh, Marvel season. What happens in Marvel season. season? There's another Marvel season coming. That next season is a Marvel season. That's the look of shit. Oh, space and Fortnite. Like, and Fortnite. I'm gonna, yeah, and Fortnite. I'm gonna have to play more Fortnite. Doctor Doom. <laughs> Doctor Doom is coming. I, I, we, I, all, everybody in the family plays it, so it's it's fine. We're not. I think the Olympics is like we were away for a week, and then the Olympics are on now. So like, you might be I, free I, for a little bit. Yeah. Fortnite free zone. I don't feel like I don't know. You get I got to 100. That was fine. I don't feel compelled to unlock everything. I Especially don't even. A cyber truck. I don't really want a cyber truck. 
You don't even want a virtual cyber truck. I, I don't. No. Fuck that um, guy. Yeah. Fuck that guy's truck. Uh, what else we got here? What's uh, this Marvel so, Snap event? Okay, you well, I, need to, I need to talk about this. Because okay. you guys, I know, uh, have no idea what, I'm, what it is. Because you guys don't play Marvel Snap. Right. Did you unlock Wolverine's it. jockstrap or something? Kind of. It's, it's almost Better? like that. This is... Obviously, they're doing a whole bunch of shit because of Deadpool Wolverine. And one of the things they did was this event, uh, like the the Deadpool, just called the Deadpool event. I don't know what the hell it's called. It has a name. But everyone I know and, and people I don't know, whatever, a lot of show listeners and cheap ass gamer people on the Discord and, and on Twitter, we're all playing this game. And we're all doing this event. It's it's more people than I thought, to be perfectly honest. And it is one of the most convoluted video game things I've done maybe ever. And it's also the most like gambling I've ever done in a video game. Hmm. And that's where I thought you might find this interesting. Hmm. I do find gambling interesting. I know. That's where that's why I was lead brought it up. Because it's it's how are weirdly, they trying to separate you from your money? Basically, like what, yeah. Now, I will say this I did get the premium reward without having to spend any money. Okay, so you outsmarted them. I out, I was able to <laughs> outsmart them. Was it incredibly difficult? Right. Yes. What are they trying <laughs> to get you to do, though? This is what you do. So, you go into the game, you go to the special event section, and you play a game. And what you're trying to do is win because it's Deadpool Wolverine themed. You're trying to win bubs. Uh huh. You know, that's oh, a good, a new currency. Thing. Yeah, Based this on new currency, word. bubs, and you got to get. I'm not making this up. I think it's 10 million bubs to get the premium prize, which is the Cassandra Nova card. A lot of bubs. You, get, you get Cassandra Nova as a playable character in the game for free. Ooh. She's the. She's. She's. <laughs> anyway, go on. Yeah, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You get that card, a good card for free. 10 million bubs. Right? For 10 million bubs. You start off with like 10,000. Go on. And you go into the game and you can bet your bubs. Like if you think you're going to win. Okay. You can bet. We're betting you know, bubs. Like you, you could bet. Yeah. Like you could start off with the low ante tables essentially. Where it's okay. like, okay, I'm going to go to this this one where, I only, where the buy-in is only going to be uh, 400 bubs. But Got I can it. only win 800. I understand the whole, how gambling works. I'm, even in bubs. <laughs> I'm not just talking to you. Okay. So, okay. So now <laughs> what happens when you're gambling the bubs away? If you lose it all right. and you go back to zero, right. then you have to wait eight hours to get back X amount of bubs. And or, depending on how far you are up the ladder, <laughs> right. you, you only get X amount. Or you could just spend money and buy more. So you're getting bubs just so you can unlock this Cassandra or whatever her yeah. name was? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's know. what you're getting. I mean, you can get like, there's, I think, three variants and card borders. There's a, there was a, you know, a decent amount of good prizes. So basically what uh, you're saying is they figured out that, hey, normally in these video games, we're just, we're, you're earning XP, but why not give you an opportunity to lose the XP that you're <laughs> earning? <laughs> well, yeah, as you you can't go down lower on the ladder, but you can lose basically all of your money that you would like that you would get. You, you basically mean like lose you all can your money. Reach like a a peak on a like out of on a on a line, but once you reach that part, like it's like a checkpoint, and you can't go further down than that. You once you hit the checkpoint on the line, you can't go backwards. Okay, so it's basically to fill in like the gaps between lines. If you, yeah. if you lose your money between then or some shit like that, eh. it's it's yeah, and and that like at one point like I'm up like a million bubs and I'm like I got a million now. That's all and you I need, go, right? Because you get the card then. Ten million. Ten million, right? That's a lot. And I'm up to like a million, and I'm like, and it's like these numbers that are just seem impossible numbers like these numbers that don't feel like real numbers and like i'm at the tables where you could bet two like i hit the table where you could bet two million at a time and 10 like, million is crazy for like a virtual and currency it, to buy by something the way it it starts at like the bottom table is 80 not eighty thousand. right 80 yeah it, just it. A full on 80 so i'm like it was the second to last game I played before unlocking the card, 
where I'm like, okay, I, I have this game. I know I'm going to win this game. It would take some sort of crazy miracle card that this person's going to pull out on the last turn for me to lose. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure, like I'm 99% sure I have it. Yeah. And I'm sitting there and I'm at the, this very desk and I'm yeah. holding my phone and I'm like <laughs> shaking. Like I, I have these gambling sweats. Like right. it's like, like, and if I lose, what would happen? I would lose my bubs and I would try again the next day or right. two days. Or betting, however long like, it's- are you betting like what, what's your maximum bub bet? Like uh, that, this was a max bet. I was betting like three million bubs. That's a lot of bubs. You could lose the house. And, uh, ex- exactly, and it's funny. I made that exact same joke. It's like it's not like I'm gonna lose the house if I didn't win that game, but I won it. And I'm looking at my phone after I won it, and even then, I'm like still staring at it. Like I can't believe I just did that. You won. And I won. I got the Cassandra Nova card. And then I went and I posted online. I'm still getting comments from people. Like, I can't believe you did this. Congratulations. How many hours did that take? 10 million is a crazy number. I know. And it's honestly, I don't know how many hours it took me. I'm not, I don't think it took me like 10 hours or anything ridiculous like that. But if I, if I said four or five, I would believe it. Like it would be like the thing I would do when sitting on the couch after, you know, after dinner, like I would sit on the couch and I would try to get my thing up. And like, I would, this is what I was doing. I was playing a game before I went to bed because like I said, everything we, re- you get refreshes after eight hours. I'm like, Oh, I'll play a hand before I go to bed and I'll just bet it all. Cause if I win, then I'll have double everything when I wake up in the morning. And I was like, mm. but I would usually lose, but it was the most like gambling I've ever done in a video game. Like think, it was. Think of all the data they're 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 acquiring and oh, doing this my, too. My, like, I've talked about it before. My best friend plays the game with me, and he's not doing it because he's like, "This is too much like gambling, and I don't need. I can't. Like, I mentally can't gamble. Right. So I can't even play this mode. I'm gonna stick with what I'm used to and have you know, which is a little more fun. Like, I don't need this card that bad. And I was like, I'm going to give it a shot. I didn't think I was going to get it. Like, I never thought I would get as high up as I did. And then you hit that. But it's like, like I said, it's like gambling. You get to, you get well, to taste. You should probably just call 1-800-GAMBLER right now. Oh, God, it's crazy. I know. Do you have the sports gambling app on your phone? Seriously. Uh, the, the only positive takeaway of it is that it's not real money, and I never used any real money. Right. So I can't. So, you know, the good news is, is that I did not have to spend any money. The bad news is, is that I got the shakes for playing a <laughs> stupid <laughs> cell phone game. Right. That's, that seems healthy, though. I think it's good for society, and probably it, nothing, I know, yeah. nothing bad could really come in this. Oh, my God. It's the worst. It's so terrible. Isn't, isn't Marvel Snap, like... Oh no! It's Monopoly is the most popular, but I'm sure Marvel Snap is very popular. Yeah, it's incredible. It's an yeah. incredibly popular game. Right. I, they set up uh, clans basically this week for the first time. So I made a CAG clan, right? And it's I think there may be one slot left. Like it's already full. Popular. So popular, popular game already full. So yeah, very all exciting. Right. Oh, and thank you to everyone who joined the CAG clan. Hopefully, we'll get all the rewards for that. And sweats. <laughs> And sweats and, and sweats. sweats. And good luck getting your Cassandra Novas, everyone else who's trying to get theirs. I mean. Yeah. Um Shit, what are you playing? Or is this from last week? Oh, I No, I'm, that's I'm me. I'm playing a well, lot of, you? of old that's stuff. Oh. But go ahead, Wombat. This is your I, your time. Yeah. I'm playing NCAA football. I'm playing it on the Xbox with my 10 hour free are trial. Are you playing as Pit? Of course I'm playing as Pit. What else, how, what else would I play how, as? How is it? It's all right. I know everyone's very excited for NCAA football, and I wanted to be really excited to play NCAA football. And it's not that it's it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. And it is really cool to play as Pitt. The problem is, is I really don't have that much affinity for the current college football players. Like, I don't really know. I don't follow college football enough to know who anyone is. Mm-hmm. Where... You know, if I play a game and I unlock a pack and I get uh, whatever, some Joe Schmo, I'm like, I I don't know if that's something that I'm supposed to care about or not. Right. It's not Aaron Rodgers. Exactly. It's not. (laughs) It's not like a Madden where it's like, oh, look at that. I got a Ladanian Tomlinson. That's pretty cool. 
you know, it, it's just it's just not the same to me. Um, but it's I mean, it's still a great game. It's you know, it's football, but I think I'm more I just think I'm more of a Madden guy. Isn't it pretty much Madden Madden just with the college players? It's a little different. It's probably hard. It's harder. I would say that it's a little more difficult. Like that, I guess, because, you know, college football players aren't as good as professional football players, theoretically. So I feel like there's a little bit more of a learning curve. Kicking is different. The way you kick the ball is just, it's just different setup. And passing is slightly different too. You don't get to see the routes in game. Um, so there's just, there's just different changes and challenges to it, which make, which make a lot of sense when you're comparing college versus pro. But I think, uh, you know, again, I think I just prefer Madden to NCAA, but I know people love NCAA more and more power to them. It's just, a, I think it's just a preference thing. I don't think it's a, it's definitely not a quality thing. I only watch three on three basketball. I know. I know. Uh, anything else? I'm just playing a bunch of old, I've been playing a lot of Wii games. <laughs> Wii games? Why? I don't know. The kids, kids are, I don't know, getting into the Wii. The Wii? Why the Wii? Why do you even have a Wii? Uh, there, I, we had a lot of Wii and Connect going on this, this past week and a half or so. Connect. What do you play yes. on Connect? Uh, uh, some Dance Central and other dancing related games. Yeah, not the uh, Connect like the Party? Di- the Disney, uh, not Connect Party, no. The I mean, I did. One? We didn't play the raft one. Uh, they, they'd Good, probably like that one. They'd probably like that one. Okay. But Connect Party is the best game on the Connect. You've, you've talked about Connect Party. Funny. Uh, you love it. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's, there's no... It, there's, it's not like it's a debate. There, I don't know. They still have, like, the magical moment of, like... My daughter is like... I just hold up my hand. And, like, things are, like, happening on the screen. Um, so, yeah. They're getting into the music games a little bit. So, and there's not really other than Fortnite, which we're going to try the Fortnite music stuff, I guess. Do but, you have the one where it's like the Disney one, you're directing the music basically. The the Fantasia, Fantasia. Evol- yeah. evolved. Yeah. Uh I think is the name of that. Yeah. Uh yes, That's I do good. have that. They have not tried that one yet. It's good. They were playing the Disney, I don't know, just just dance Disney or Disney party or something. Um, you have the you have the Star Wars one. But the we Han do have Solo the Star one. Wars one. I haven't broken that one out for him yet. We've got all we've got all, all all the purple boxes. Get all the purple boxes out here. Let's see what it, what all these are. <laughs> well, good um, luck with that fun. Yeah, it's it it is in small bursts. That stuff is still fun. Right. Like, There's some good games. Yeah, it's it's still fun. Um. So yeah, we've been, we've been playing some of that. We bought like we we stopped by a uh I don't know, like a game shop of some sort. It was like a game like use action figures and whatever on our our way in a town on the way to the cabin and they were having like a 50% off everything sale and so they had like Wii games and PlayStation 2 games and Xbox games that were like Normally three dollars, they were like a dollar fifty. Right. So it was like, yeah, let's let's try out Pirates of the Caribbean and World's End for the Wii. Let's let's see what that's right. all about. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> I I I am enjoying a bunch of third party motion control games at the moment. Enjoying is that the right word? I do enjoy. I I like. Like licensed crap. games, I do. <laughs> I do like crap. It's more interesting than it's more interesting crap. to me than like the mod, like these modern Marvel Snap and and Fortnite, where it feels unending and it's just not like there's nothing interesting about it. It's like games used to be like, hey, th- like did they get this to work? <laughs> Like that, that was like always like, oh, what's like what's the problems with this game? It used to be interesting in that way, rather than like how are the, how are they trying to make this the only game in my universe? Right. Like you could they well, used to, to play games for like two. five hours and then never think about them again. Mm-hmm. Sure. But yeah. So that's that's what like 
Kung Fu Panda. I've been playing some of that. Like Kung Fu Panda for the PlayStation 2? No. I, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're... I'm you know, getting ready for for Long Island Retro here. Like, oh, good, good. What are you gonna do yeah. with this knowledge? I'm gonna I'm gonna know that uh, there's other things out there that I, I can look for Wii games and Connect games that are not in the collection, right? And, and really, really bolster. You have this all digitized, so you can just pull out an app oh, yeah. and know what you. Of course, no. yeah. Stupid uh, yeah, question. Sorry. Of, of course, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I've I've got everything cataloged now. So. That's good. We're good. Even Skylanders and. Uh, Disney, uh, whatever, Infinity toys. It's going to be great if that can integrate with like Siri and then like the Apple AI. So you could just be like, hey, Siri, do I have uh, DuckTales on the fucking Game Boy Color? Hmm? And be like, yeah, you have seven. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, of course, of course. Yeah, that's going to be great. I like that yeah. feature. Mm-hmm. All right, we made it. Did you buy anything from the Xbox 360 marketplace? It went down. I it's know. Down. What was I Gone. supposed to buy? What was I supposed to do? Yeah, it, I didn't. I didn't get. Anything. I bought a lot. Yeah, I figured it was painful. <laughs> that, like that one website, at a time. Is that one at a time? Oof. Oh man, it was that website was like, and this was before it was going down. It was Why already are you torturing point. yourself. Like it's like click, and it's like, oh Wait. no, here's here's like a, a an avatar saying I've reached a part of the site that like doesn't work like oh you've reached an error or whatever the message was and so you click back and you try again and then it would load and you're like loading through it's like oh maybe there's like dlc here for a game that i own that i never like claimed that was like free and like how many hours did you invest in the xbox store shutting down more than people who work there more than I, more hours than it took me to get that stupid card in Marvel's yeah Day. it definitely oh my I, it, God, I probably have little, over the last like two weeks i'm gonna say six to eight hours you know sometimes on, you just gotta say goodbye no it, I, it was it was i had to get i i didn't even get all all the way through it because there was at a point where i'm like yeah I, I give up like your wife the, know the what you're doing? Just was not working. What? Did your wife know what you were up to? She did. She did. She, what what do you think about that? You know, I, was, I, I don't know. Just she, let you do your thing. Just yeah. She knows. Yeah. She knows yeah, who she, she married. <laughs> she knew what she got herself into. Right. right. Like, what are these compatibility DLCs that I'm grabbing for free? I better get that. Right. I don't know. Right. Even though it's gonna <laughs> take me five minutes to get through this process of getting it. Right, like I'll never 37 clicks later and oh, oh, I've logged out again. Let me log back into Xbox and click through this and I don't know. It's so sad like looking through that store and like it's even sadder when you look or I guess you can't do it anymore, but you would look at it and it would show you all the stuff, even the stuff that had been delisted because there was like no way to sort through this crap right. at all. It was just great out. Like, it was just like it had like a little icon so you could tell whether like there was like game or dlc or whatever and like but it like would still exist there and if it didn't have a little icon you couldn't do any like you could click on it but there's like nothing you could download and it was just like going through all of these things it's like oh yeah i remember these games i like i have them but like they're just all gone now like there's just all the whole like xbox live arcade just gone which is insane. Like gamer picks gone. Not a thing. Right. Uh, avatars. I mean, are you upset about the gamer picks being? Gone? I'm not, but it's just so, it's just so strange. Do you like, remember when you would play a game though and you would unlock a gamer pick? That was, that was cool. Kind of exciting. That was yeah. exciting. Yep. Like, Ooh, cloning Clyde. I, I finished cloning Clyde. I got a gamer pick. Yeah. It's, it's just, do you realize that like they were still, like, it's only, Pretty much 10 years to the date that the last gamer picks that you could buy came out. Like it's only 10 years removed to where you could still be buying like I feel new like 10 years picks. is a long is a long time. Maybe 10 years is a long time. It feels like longer than that. Like it feels like we should be like 20 years past gamer picks. <laughs> well, what's wrong with gamer picks? Nothing. Nothing. I but guess. there was a I, I mean, there was a time where, you know, the xbox ecosystem tried to be a social system 
and it just isn't anymore. There's no, there is no social media aspect of your console like there was at that time. Your gamer pick and your avatar. So when you could log in, you see all your friends and their weird shirts, but that's not a thing. Yeah. They phase that out. I got rid of the blades. I don't want to hear, and I mute everybody in the game yeah. as soon as I go in because I don't want them telling me that I suck. I mean, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, it, it, I don't know. It, it's still disappointing that like, like it's what gone. was that costing them it. to like keep that going? Just be there, right? right? Like, Couldn't they load that whole thing on like a microchip like this big and like running off a of Zoom somewhere? Right. Like, like how many hits could. are you getting on it to like having people like come and like, yeah. I don't know. You're it's right. just you're they're like, all like every store is going to go through this. So it's just sad that that was like one of the big first, like the first big ones on consoles. What if uh, Xbox announces in like a month or two? Hey, we're coming out with this new pack where you can buy like 500 <laughs> Xbox Live games for. It's not going to happen, but it'd be great. Know. Like if they just, if the whole reasoning was just like the website and the server were Shitty. getting old yeah, and that we just like, we're bringing them over to something new. Like that would have been a great move of just like, but I'm sure they looked at that and went like, uh, this, this is going to be too much to. Right. No one's no, gonna nobody's buy buying this anymore. It's not worth it. We already have all these new games coming out every day that we're putting on our marketplace and it's, they're mm -hmm. like barely games. They're like cell no phone one's, games. No one's going to buy Star Wars Outlaws if they can buy uh Cloning Clyde 2 for 99 cents. They know. All right. Is there a sequel? It was Cloning Clyde 2 a thing? I don't I may have just made that up. <laughs> I was like, we want definitely that. put a lot of Cloning Clyde. And uh, now I'm, I'm curious. Did I miss buying Cloning Clyde 2? I, I, no, I do not forever. know. There what? was an Outpost Colloquy 2, though, wasn't there? Oh. I, I don't think there was a up. Cloning Clyde 2. And now they'll never be. Right. Is Ninja B Games doors. still a thing? I'm sure they're, they're, I don't know. They're probably making Fortnite stuff now. Whatever happened to them? Because they made Clone and Clyde. And they made Band of Bugs and uh, Keflings games, which were the first games my daughter ever finished were those Kefling games. I was staring hard at some of the DLC packs for those Kefling games. but Trying to decide if you want to spend uh, 45 minutes downloading them. If you go to their website, it says A World of Keflings is now available on the Wii U. Wow. So I guess they're not around. Follow us on Twitter. All right. We got to go to bed. We right. means me. Yeah. It's we good. had a long day at Orange Theory. No. A long yeah. hour at Orange Theory. That's fair. And watching table tennis, watching Team USA lose, and watching basketball players get called for traveling. All right, anything we want to say? Because we're not going to, this is going to be our last show until uh, LI Retro, where we'll be doing episode 800. Go to liretro.com to get tickets. Hopefully, we can see you there and you can get some of these prizes that Thorbon ordered up from Big Bad Toy Store. By the way, he told me that he did order me the, the Knight Rider, the kit Transformers Transformer? collab. Yeah, he yep. gave me a heads up. He's like, that's going to be coming in several months because that nice. he just orders me shit and it just shows up at my house and i'm like did i order this or is this store bond you never know now i know not to order anything all right guys we'll see you in uh we'll see you on long island peace say the words wombat say the words bread's done <laughs>